everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Philly Beats You, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get all the Ginter items in Pokemon Legends Arceus fast. If you enjoy videos like this, make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. This number constantly goes up. I'm serious. If you go back to any other YouTube video and check it out, it's lower and it keeps getting higher every new video. Let's not waste any more of your time and get into the video. So for new players who start the game, you're only going to notice Ginter showing up after you beat Cleaver. That's when these guys move into town. And you're going to notice you come up to them once in a while and they're going to have these rare wares or great deals. This guy over here is always going to have the static amount of berries and stuff. This, this stuff is not changing or rotating at any point in the game. Now, Ginter over here is going to have this special offer for you all the time. So he's here, here to make that purchase after all. He's, he has a jet ball set. It could be cake sets. It could be evolution items. We'll go over the whole list of stuff he has. But he'll offer you an item or a set of items. And he'll charge you for it. And if you do decide to buy it, you say I take it for example, you go ahead and you're going to get that item. And then as you continue to go throughout your game, you just randomly came back to town and he had new items. But you never knew exactly how to do it. Well, here's the trick on how to get Ginter to get you new items. All you have to do is walk out of town and catch 20 Pokemon. That's it. It doesn't matter what 20 Pokemon you catch. Just go for 20 Pokemon. Now, you can either catch the 20 Pokemon in the Obsidian Fieldlands. That is pretty easy. Or you can be a little more smart about it. And if you have a mass outbreak on your map, you can just go ahead, do one mass outbreak, clear it out completely, see if there's a shiny Pokemon, and use all of those as the 10 Pokemon you caught. And if you do happen to get a shiny, then great. If you want more information about the mass outbreak shiny hunting, you can check it out on the screen here. But I'm going to go to the Crimson Mirelands to this Chansey outbreak, catch all of them. Okay, I got my minimum amount of 20 Pokemon from the Crimson Mirelands, caught an extra three just because I got distracted. But it's 20 Pokemon. Once you get back to Jubilee Village, all you have to do is walk up to Ginter, and here's how exactly you know his items reset. He will say the words, rare wares, great deals, go here. And that's it. He reset. He's done. And we got a new uh, item. So he's got a special product. This time, he's got me a bean cake set. So that's pretty much how you're going to reset. Now, Ginter is very important in this game. And there's a bunch of different items that you can get from him. But here are some of the item sets that Ginter sells to you. It'll be like a mushroom cake set. And they'll come in sets of 10. As you can see, we got Honey Cake, Pineapple, Nana Berry, Hopo Berry, Raspberry times 10. You also get Max Revive sets, which is pretty cool. Great Balls. I mean, but these are quite a bit of money. You can probably craft some of these things in the game. You can also get Ultra Ball sets, Feather Ball sets, Wing Ball sets. Basically, I think you can get all the Pokeballs from him as well. And then if he's going to give you an Evolution item, they're not going to say exactly Oval Stone or Thunderstone. So you want to pay attention to this list over here. It could say things like sold as egg-like rock, which will be the oval stone, lightning bolt rock, thunderstone, moon-like rock, moonstone. So some of them are pretty simple. The egg one, I didn't really know which one at first, but the rest of them seem pretty intuitive. Uh, dazzling rock is the shiny stone. Deep dark rock is the dust stone. The eye-like rock is the dawn stone. Metallic spread, metal coat. And then these two are very obvious for the electrolyzer and magmarizer, electricity box and magma box. The protector box is going to be unwieldy armor. So you can go ahead and throw that on your Rhydon so you can get Rhyperior. You got your Reaper cloth. So does the mysterious cloth. Mystery fang is the razor fang. Mystery claw is the razor claw. And the transparent mechanism is a dubious disc. But the most important items that he does sell are actually these. These are big ones, the mechanical items. Now, these mechanical items are going to be expensive. They're going to start at 20 grand and they're going to start working their way up 40 grand, 60 grand and going all the way up into the 100 grands. These mechanical items are going to be all for the sake of changing Rotom in the game when you get them. And you can have access to these before you even get Rotom registered to your Pokedex. If you have come across any of these mechanical items at any point in the game and you remember it, please let me know when exactly in the story you did see them. A lot of reports I'm getting from people who play the game and friends is that these mechanical items start to show up after they complete the Arcanine quest. So let me know when yours shows up. So Mechanical Box is going to be for the Heat Rotom. Mechanical Cabinet is going to be for Frost Rotom. Mechanical Tub is going to be for Wash Rotom. Mechanical Pinwheel is going to be for Fan Rotom. And the Mechanical Circular Saw is going to be for the Mo Rotom. Now I have all these items. So Ginter is going to tell you when you buy them that he's going to have someone deliver it to your house for no extra cost. So if I go in my house over here, you'll start to notice these little devices. Got a lawnmower here, got a little washing machine, my microwave, my little refrigerator, and my fan. And when you do interact with any of these items, let's say I'm going to interact with the microwave. And I hit yes. It's going to say choose a Rotom. So if you go into your pastures, that's my shiny Pokemon box. And you click on this Rotom over here, hit that Rotom, select, and you can choose what it's going to become by just selecting the item in the room. And just like that... There you go. You you now have Rotom Heat, and now it is 
an electric fire type Pokemon, just like that. And you can change them at any time. So if you want to keep all of them in your decks, just catch multiple Rotom and you can keep all the forms in your decks. It's, it's that simple. One pro tip before we end this video, do the farming method in this game at the same time while doing the same one with Ginter. So if you want to farm apricorns, medicinal harvests, vegetable harvests, mushroom, berries, or mints, you're going to also do this at the same time because it has a requirement of catching Pokemon too. If you want to know more about the mint harvest guide that changes Pokemon nature, I'm going to have that video linked somewhere over here. So go ahead and click that if you want more information on how to mint farm. So do a harvest and a Ginter refresh at the same time while you're catching a bunch of Pokemon. 20 Pokemon to refresh Ginter. So just go do 20 Pokemon at Ginter and any item from the farm should be easily refreshed at the same time with Ginter. And now you know everything about Ginter and how to refresh it. Also the little pro tip of doing everything together at once. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this and get this number up. Look at that. It already jumped from the beginning of the video. How cool. Thank you very much for those who hit subscribe during the video. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you very much for all the support and love on the channel. My name is Philly Beats You. Take care, have a good one and stay alive when you're fighting Pokemon.